board recognizes the city's remarkable progress since its honorable mention last year, including the creation of over 60 miles of new bikeways in the last fiscal year. And events like Ciclo Via show the incredible appetite that Angelinos have for riding and giving a safe opportunity to do so. Angelinos want to ride their bikes. More and more bike lanes on the streets are allowing people to experience bicycling the other 363 days of the year. As our bike network grows, Los Angeles is quickly becoming a community in which people make everyday trips by bike. Bike-friendly community is about more than just bike lanes. It is a community that embraces bicycling as a healthy form of transportation and recreation. Each of the city's departments has played a role in this success. The LAPD has been a national leader in engaging the bicycling community, and they've recently appointed a local liaison in each of their four divisions. LADOT, in addition to the many miles of bike lane stripes, has installed bike parking all across the city, from their request a route program to their bike corral pilot program. Imagine if you can take one parking spot and park 16 customers by bike in that area. Bike corrals are coming to business districts soon all around the city in their pilot program. Um, and city planning has also led the way with a new bike parking ordinance which will come to city council in the next few weeks um, that will ensure that uh, residents, employees, and customers have a place to park at all new businesses and apartment buildings. So as the advocates, it's our job to lay out the vision for where we're going. So here we go. Currently half of all trips in LA County are less than three miles. Shifting even a fraction of these trips to bicycling will reduce congestion, clean the air, and improve our health. Just doubling the current number of miles traveled by bike in the county would take the equivalent of over 30,000 cars off the road. So what does that look like in the real world? Look behind you. On 7th Street, ridership increased by over 150% just by striping bike lanes. At the same time, collisions are down for drivers, bicyclists, and pedestrians alike, and traffic is no worse than it was before. So now people have options. It's less than two miles from here back to our offices downtown, and I can guarantee you that bicycling is faster than driving and parking, or even walking to the subway from here. This is what a robust transportation system looks like, one in which people choose the right mode for each trip, one in which the car is no longer default. So LACBC is proud of the city's accomplishments so far, but we're far from done. New bike projects are on their way, for the first time creating a connected city-wide network of bikeways, like we have started to see downtown. So this award is well deserved, but we must now take it to the next level using all of the five E's that Andy mentioned. Engineering, education, enforcement, encouragement, and evaluation. And we thank the league for uh, honoring the city's hard work, and we hope that Andy will be back in a couple of years with a different, uh, different type of medal. Thank you. Yay!